Well, I decided I was going to go ahead and show you what I'm going to make for my supper. I forget so much. <laughs> so I had a steak the other night, um, and I decided I'm just going to cut it up. You know, you see it cut up in the in the pieces. Uh, and turn my burner on to 350. This is my electric skillet. I'm going to put some butter in. You guys are going to go, oh my gosh, that's a lot of butter. No, it's not. It's good real butter and good fats are good for you. What's not good for you are sugars and carbs, which are sugars. So, real butter is real good for you. So I'll let this melt, and then I'll be right back. It's melted a little bit. I'm going to add some salt. Once again, when you're eating ketogenic, that's kind of what you lose because you stop eating processed foods and you need to add salt to your diet. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a whole bunch of spinach. Baby kale. See, butter. Salt. And I'll turn you back on once I cook it down. Okay, that took a couple of seconds. Now I'm going to add my meat. All that needs to be warmed up. Then, oops, sorry, that must have been a better thing. I try to just stick with real food. I don't. I, I'm in a semi, so I can't get real fancy all the time. So I'll turn this off. Stirring it, let it cool down. Turn back on in a minute. And then there you go not pretty but boy it sure is good and here's the one thing about the ketogenic diet once you get all those nasty sugars and sugars from carbs out of your system you're really only hungry for good foods uh, you do want sweets now and then but there's so many substitutes and believe me after this I'll kind of show you a quick one that uh, is my quick go-to when I want something sweet. Alrighty, be back in a bit. Okay, now I'm going to show you my little quick after dinner dessert if I've got a sweet tooth. Uh, I've made this quite a bit before so I, I kind of know how to eyeball it, but uh, you can measure and it's all to the amount you want and to the taste you want. There's my stevia and this is heavy whipping cream. You can see I don't know, what is that, about a quarter cup, maybe. Uh, and I squirt my stevia in. I have to watch this. About two and a half squirts. And I put my lid on. Maybe. And all it is is heavy whipping cream. Okay, I can't do this with one hand. Hold on, I gotta tighten it. Okay, it's heavy whipping cream 
and the sweetener of your choice. So I stopped it and I'm going to let it uh, go all the way to the bottom. That'll make it easier to scoop out. Uh, but I got my two little jellos, which I love jello. It is sugar free. And believe me, um, especially when you're on the keto diet and you've flushed all those carbs and sugars that you're used to, these are going to be really sweet um, and delicious. So I will turn you back on in a second. Okay, I'm going to try to show you this, but see, oops, it's going to start dripping, but you can look in there. And all that is is stevia and heavy whipping cream. Okay, I got to make, I got to stop. Ah! Okay, <laughs> I was making an absolute mess because this is so good. Uh, and I hate leaving any drops in there, so it kind of wilted, but there you go. And trust me, it's good. You'll enjoy it. Adios. I should mention that when you do it like this, it tastes like a parfait. <clears throat> Something you can do also, if you want to scoop this out, scoop the jello out into a bowl uh, and add some fruits if you're able to have fruits. Uh, man, it just is a really, really good dessert. Uh, and I do. I think you'd enjoy it. Alrighty. Adios again. And then how I clean it out is I just add a little bit of water, <coughs> put it back in, do that a little bit, shake, 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 okay, I'll be right back. 